Good morning, my awesome friends. I'm doing a little bonus tutorial today on alcohol ink. Um, I see some of the ladies are really struggling with it. Um, I've been making the most gorgeous little notebooks and I will soon be doing a notebook um, tutorial, but it will be a page tutorial. Um, and I can't wait to share with you what I have been making recently. And um, here's another little notebook. So I'm, I work in a production line. For anyone who knows me, I'll do like 10 bookmarks and then I'll do 10 notebooks. I find doing one at a time is quite time consuming, especially when you're working and with metal tape a lot. So today we're using alcohol ink. I must admit, I've tried different brands of alcohol ink. And you know what? I have to say that the Ranger ink is the best. The, just the colors are really vibrant. Some of the other inks, I don't know, they're just not the same. So I don't really um, market anyone and I'm not one to throw name brands around. But yeah, this is the best alcohol ink to buy. Anyway, as you can see, I just squirt a few drops. And usually I've actually done too many for you girls. Please start with three or four drops. And then I'd gradually just mix them as you can see and I always use two colors you can use three as well but one color ends up a bit too bland so close to the edge here where the tape has joined or is touching the uh, spiral I'll do that there and then I work and you can see I'm not very neat in that it doesn't matter if you go over the edge of your feather or design. Obviously don't paint over the whole thing, but everyone thinks that I've got this amazing trick. So I thought I want to show you that I actually don't. I think the only trick is to use two colors and not to try and put down too much ink at once because obviously the alcohol ink dries really fast. And as soon as it dries, you'll see that you'll start getting lines. Can you see these little lines that are coming? That's because the ink is drying so fast. And here we go again. Three. And one, two, three. Okay. So the trick that I'm going to show you today is one of my favorites. And everyone like asks, how did you get it to do that? So I thought for my loyal followers on YouTube that I would reward you for your kind support today. Okay. So you can have a look there. I've gone over the lines of the or the design of the feather. I'm just going to let that dry properly and I'm going to do another one for you. And I'm going to use the same colors. Now this design is more intricate as you can see. So I'm only going to use a few drops at a time because it's going to take a little bit more time to um, work the smaller areas. And you can see the green and the blue look so nice. Obviously, for those of you who don't work with color a lot, um, it's always good to work with complementary colors. As soon as you're working with like, you know, orange and green, you're going to get mud. So go and have a look, go and Google on Facebook or on YouTube and check out a color wheel and sort of work with opposite colors. They, they give the best results. Here we go. And one thing I didn't do, and I've made a mistake, and I'm so glad I did it. Can you see? I didn't open my cover, so now I've inked the page. What a pity. Just be careful of that. But I actually did it on purpose so that I could show you that we also make mistakes. And nothing's always perfect. You know, I think that's one of the reasons I've decided to do these unedited tutorials so you can see the mistakes and realize that we all were beginners once we all make mistakes even after all these years i still do stupid things 
and I think in, in anything creative sometimes a mistake teaches you a new technique so just go with the flow and don't beat yourself up and girls don't be shy to share your creations with us I mean really we all as women need to be supportive of one another and as you can see I'm just dabbing it along in those weird little areas And I really would appreciate your comments on on this video clip. So please um, subscribe to my YouTube channel and leave me a comment. It will make my day if you do. Um, okay. So you can see that I kind of squiggle a bit because I don't want to have actual lines. Okay. All righty, can you see that? So I've gone over the design and, you know, that's okay. Um, there's a little gap that I missed. And there, and there. Okay, so quite, it looks quite bland, don't you think? I'm going to put this one aside, and then I'm going to go back to my other. Please close your inks, because they evaporate quite fast, and you want to save your precious inks, because they really are pricey. And girls, don't go and rush out and buy 10 colors. Literally buy your two favorites. If you love, if you love pinks, then buy yourself a pink and a purple. And if you love greens, then buy, buy yourself a green and a blue. You know, don't go and buy 20. You, don't, you might not like working with ink. Okay, so here we have done the one. And I'm going to show you my favorite trick. So using 91% alcohol in a little spray bottle from about 20 centimeters height, which is about a foot, you give it a little squirt. And look what is happening. Isn't this an awesome trick? Can you see the little water droplets? And that is one of my secrets. Now, the one thing you've got to remember with your isopropyl or your alcohol is that you've got to let this dry also for a little while. It does evaporate really quick, but I have smudged it in the past. So now we've got our intricate design. And as you can see on here, uh, the ink is a bit wet still, but as you can see, I've gone over certain areas. And now to show you one of my favorite tricks. Oh, my word. Sorry, girls. I've literally lost my little... Okay. Well, for the sake of this video, I've lost my little piece of um, acetate. I'm just going to put a drop here on the side, where my finger is, of alcohol ink. So I'm using a little bit of green dabbing my brush in it and I'm dabbing it in random spots so don't put the ink on here directly onto your project just put the ink on a little piece of acetate next to you or your glass mat whatever you have and now I'm just dabbing the tip of the brush so your brush must, mustn't be too saturated with ink And if you can see what I'm doing here, I'll lift it up for you. Okay. So I have to confess something to you. Um, I wasn't sick for like months on end. Uh, you know, I told you earlier that I am a production line. So when I videoed some of the tape attack tutorials, I kind of videoed like six of them in one day. So thank you so much for your concern, but I actually wasn't sick for six weeks. I just loaded different videos every week for six weeks. Um, but anyway, it's so funny that I'm productive when I'm sick. Okay, so look how amazing that is, the little dots. So I used the green ink and now I'm going to use the blue ink doing exactly the same. So here we go, just putting a dab, it's out of camera, of ink. 
maybe I can move it a bit for you to see. There you go, here's my ink. And also, once again, just dabbing randomly. And as I say, don't saturate your brush. Just dab randomly. And this adds interest. Not much thought goes into this process. It's actually very calming when you've lost your mojo. Just grab out your alcohol ink and color something. And I'd love to see you share on Made by KJ Crafting Group what you've created with your metal tip and your alcohol ink. Um, because you know what? You girls have t taught me a thing or two. We learn from one another, and I think that's the most awesome thing. There you go. And over there. So, what do you think of that, girls? How amazing is that? And I see, I need just a touch of ink here. I think I'm going to just get a little bit more ink. It's dry there. I don't seem to have any dots over here. Now how cool is that? Okay, so once again, I'm going to leave that to dry for a moment. And then taking my book, I've opened it, so you don't mess on your pages like I did earlier. So I've got a bit of a blotch there, you know what? That is part of the charm, and I don't worry about it. Now, I wanted to show you my very old nail buff. You can see it's got it's lost all its sand grit over here, a little bit of sand and grit. And this is the time where most people toss their nail buff. I actually keep these old ones for specifically for this technique. So there's the new buff with all its grit on it. So using an old nail buff, holding it flat and flat, on the design and then a little bit very lightly off the design and this specific notebook I use the crumple tape method which as you by now know is my very favorite method so and then using my soft lappy and for my overseas friends my soft cloth rag there you go look how gorgeous that is okay and let's finish our other one sorry girls i'm stretching over you i threw it so far away so here's our other little notebook that we've done and same thing old nail buff i work the design area first and it's important to keep it flat the nail buff flat Okay, look how amazing that is. And then... Okay, so now I've finished and I realized that I have missed a little spot which I forgot to color completely. And I'm just going to fix that up. Dab of green. And where did I see it here? There. And there. I think that's it. Oh, wait. And there's another little spot. So I missed a few twirls. Okay, and there we go. So I'd love to know what you think. I think that is dry. Oh, wrong buff. Where's my other buff?
So what do you think? Give it a try and share with me and I hope you guys have an awesome day.